What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. This Assassin's Creed thing just gets better and better. Of the two historians that we had heard about most, and uh, the most famous one, I was waiting until this story today to talk about. But of the two of them, one of them being uh, Yu Hiriyama, uh, who we found out was a member of the Japanese Communist Party until recently, but you know, uh, old ties, hard to uh, cut. And we also found out that he's a member of Pony Canyon, which is uh, an area alliance department that embraces the mission of revitalizing regions, energizing Japan through the power of entertainment. In other words, they thought making a black samurai would be really cool and make it popular in the West. It's not. It's having, well, quite the opposite effect. The other historian that we keep hearing cited is this guy. Thomas Lockley, and uh, as noted here, his African Samurai is the book that they most commonly used, uh, they being uh, Ubisoft, and now Thomas is trying to act like he has no part, doesn't know what anyone's talking about, has nothing to do with Assassin's Creed or Ubisoft. Uh, you can see here when he was asked about it on a podcast, he says, I don't know whether the, the game Assassin's Creed should have him as the main character or should have somebody else as the main character. Quite frankly, I I don't care uh you know they ask him huh but you have nothing to do with it anyway Lockley replies nothing to do with it then he asks you see no royalties or anything and Lockley responds no no it was nothing to do though my book is starting to sell well again which is nice that's nice yeah people are buying it to see how full of shit you are uh he then added but don't attack Yasuke as a man let's remember this man for who he was and the great things he did. Well, who he was and exactly how what he did and how great are also something of debate, which is something that we're going to get into right here tonight. Uh, the problem is, is he's also, and he said this before, right? Uh, saying thank you for the support over the years due to hate mail connected with Assassin's Creed game, which I, is nothing. He, this is also due to a translation, even though he's British, he was speaking uh, Japanese at the time. So he's saying he has nothing to do with it. And this has been going on far longer than I've known about. It, except here's some receipts for you it's a ubisoft podcast uh yasuke the first african samurai and you can see uh right here it says yasuke is one of the most captivating and yet mysterious figures within japanese history in 1581 at the height of the civil war he crossed paths with the country's most powerful warlord oda Nobu Naga. Their meeting bound the two men together and set Yasuke on a path to becoming the first known samurai of African descent in Japan. Delving into the history behind, remember, because now they cope and say it's a fiction, but delving into the history behind one of the two main characters in the latest Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Matt Lewis and Thomas Lockley. Assassin's Creed Shadows, Matt Lewis and Thomas Lockley. So indeed, he was one of the historians working for Ubisoft, even if he's lying, saying he's not connected now. <clears throat> Examine the few surviving historical sources to reveal what we know about Yasuke, Japan's first African samurai. And that's the other thing. There you go. They acted like they didn't say it. There you go. They have been saying it. And now going on the subreddit for uh, Assassin's Creed and mentioning this will get you banned by them. Um, and here you can see the pod podcast host uh, in that episode said, in case you haven't had the chance to see it, the world premiere trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows was released, and you can see it takes place in feudal Japan. This is a time famous for its samurais and ninjas, an era rich in history, culture, and stories. For the next few episodes in the series, we'll be exploring this fascinating period in history. So far, we've traveled back in time to the Sengoku period, sowed the seeds for the unification uh, unification of Japan and the culture collider with the arrival of Portuguese missionaries on Japanese shores, which of course is where Inter Yasuke, who was a, a slave, quite frankly, to the Portuguese missionaries. Uh, and that's where he starts, says, today we're tracing the story of a key figure in this era of the upheaval, Japan's first black samurai so so much for their whole thing about well we never really said he was a samurai and then you can see down here it says i am joined by thomas lockley associate uh, producer at nihon university who has since had his classes canceled and his book taken off the list over there uh so yeah 
clearly Lockley did, in fact, work over there. And this is also on top of noted uh, Japanese tutor Naoto. Probably going to ask him how to say that name properly, but uh, Naoto, I think. Uh, yeah, Naoto. Uh, that uh, they apparently, they were trying to say that, oh, well, he fact-checked uh, Lockley's book. Uh, and it turns out, no, he didn't actually... Uh, fact check it all he did was give a brief opinion and look over and that guy also been too happy and i've seen some other articles from him when researching thomas lockley you can see here uh disappointment in thomas lockley his lies in the japan times rebuttal and this is of course talking about an article that thomas wrote that made it into J J japan times about yasuka being that uh famous african samurai um, and you know, this basically just goes, look, this is all up for debate, uh, regarding the Japanese edition of Nobunaga and Yasuke by Thomas Lockley published by Ota publishing in 2017, uh, translator Yoshiko Fuji asked me to read through it and provide my thoughts. I give a few comments, but it was nothing as grand as a fact check. And, um, again, Going back to the original reason Thomas even started writing about this, it appears that he just wanted to write a fictional novel that somehow turns into some sort of academic uh, historical document, but it's not. And, uh, and if he was being genuine, and this is what I've really done in trying to find out, was he a samurai? Uh, certainly not with a capital S. Uh, you can see the Professor Oka here uh, saying, even among Japanese researchers, there are various theories on the definition of samurai. Because again, it was not just a profession, but it was a class of people. Uh, and there were many different infrastructures uh, therein. Uh, so yes, it makes it very difficult to... Um, to answer the use of samurai overseas is even more different because it might have been described differently to other people as opposed to the inner workings uh so yeah there would be no researchers who have strictly defined samurai in the sengoku period and then positioned yasuke as samurai so the actual end result is they don't know so yes until otherwise grain of salt right like all things anyway there was <laughs> No matter how you look at this, it's just not, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. And I just don't think, yeah, it'll sell. Assassin's Creed games sell. But with the Ubisoft and the utter hate of them and Star Wars Outlaws is almost certainly going to tank. Not looking great. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Be sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye.